there are some people that their entire creative background was sitting in front of a computer yeah. and as a writer, which is great. I mean, yeah. the, the, the writing process is very solitary or the editing process or uh, writing music sometimes is very solitary. Yeah. How do you take that kind of person who is used to doing it by themselves yeah. or maybe they've done entire films by themselves. You know, yeah. there, there are those people that they just enjoy that process in a solitary sort of fashion. How do you take that person? Is it even possible then to transplant them into the collaborative um, it's a great question. Um, I think f you you in, you invite them as part of it, but then you let them do their thing where they're comfortable. Um, if they, if they are comfortable being alone, there was this guy at Warner Brothers, the shyest human being in the world. He was this little Asian guy, and he would just he would just come into work, and he was every day he just thought he was going to be fired, you know, and he would he would go to he would go to draw, and he just like. Eh. I'm dead, you know, I'm not gonna make this. And so this 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 poor guy every day would just would struggle through each day. And and then one day uh, we had this tour with Spielberg and everybody, it was just this big deal, and he's coming around, and and you know how, how executives will just find some guy, you let's go over to his desk and see what's going on. So here's this little guy, he's hiding in the corner, he's like this. He's so out of touch, he doesn't even know Spielberg's there. And he <laughs> And this is when Spielberg was at his prime. You know, he was just did, you know, he's doing Jurassic Park and all this stuff. So he's sitting there, he's drawing, and then he hears this. Hey, Tim? He goes, yeah? Can you look up? And he looks up, and then here's, like, the head of the studio, Steven Spielberg, all these people around him, and he just went... <laughs> <laughs> he just went back to his work. <laughs> just ignored him. And he was just, like, hoping they'd all go away. And then... Spielberg says, again, hey, what are you drawing there? And he's just like, it's a character. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, it was like the toughest little moment. So somebody like that, you don't force them into some sort of, uh, you know, swinger lifestyle. But what you, <laughs> but what <Good>. you do, <laughs> what you do is you, 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 you try to get them to see that they are not only helpful here by themselves, but they're helpful in that big group. That this scene that they have nothing to do with, I mean, obviously they're skilled, right? So, so that other scene, maybe they can help those people too. Right. And I know Ed Catmull talks about this in his book, uh, Creativity, Inc., about, mm. and you're saying the same thing, um, about honoring the person as they are, but then finding ways then to draw them into the, the bigger picture. Yeah, because it goes back to that thing I said originally, is that each person individually, that's their superpower.